uh, hello, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we'll be going over how to, uh, um, yeah, so, how to, uh, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, so we're, we're gonna go over how to make a homemade barometer. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show you the final look because I haven't had it for like three days and this is. Uh, so first you're gonna need a jar. Macy's jar. Not plastic, it has to be glass. So it won't expand. Uh, so uh, you're gonna need a balloon. Uh, yeah, so you're going to need a balloon, uh, so, a straw, yeah, okay, so you're going to need a balloon, straw, piece of paper, scissors, tape, Macy's jar, uh, and did I say scissors? If I didn't, scissors. Uh, um, yeah, so first you're going to start off with your jar. You're going to put it down on the table. Then you're going to take your balloon and you're going to cut it. It uh, Don't cut it. Uh, you you want to cut off, um, so the part where you, that's the part you cut off. So you so then you're gonna use the part of the balloon that contains the air, and you're gonna put it on top of it. Oh yeah, you're gonna need rubber bands for this too. So you're gonna put it on top of it. Then you're gonna get a rubber band. Uh, you're gonna put the rubber band, uh, rubber band around the Macy's jar and the balloon. And, and then you're gonna put and then you're gonna put a piece of tape over uh, on the straw and then you're gonna cut the straw into like a sharp into like a sharp edge um so then you're going to take the macy's jar and glue and glue it or tape it to a piece of paper so then you're going to put the one that's highest low uh, low air pressure and the one that's and then the one so the one that's like towards the top of the paper low air pressure and the one that's in the middle of the paper is high air pressure and that's how you make a homemade barometer